So we're in Perek Dalet. I think we're up to Vahamidis. And we learned when a person, Teira Mitzvah is the Levushim of the Nafshal Kis. The Seichel of Teira is the Levush for the Seichel of the Nafshal Kis. The Kiyam Mitzvah is the Maisa is the Levush for the Midis of the Nafshal Kis. So when a person is involved with Peyel and Teira Mitzvah, so his Nafash Alekis is being mislabish in these Levushim, which soon we'll learn what's the significance of that. Why are the Levushim Melubish in, so he said, the Seichel of the Nafash Alekis, the Kayach HaSeichel, the Levush for it, what is it able to be mislabish in? What's a tool that it's able to unite with the Seichel of Teira, and that connects it with the Ebesh through Seichel? And the Midas, which is Chaser and Gvura, is the Ikre Hamidis, Yira Va'ava. And the rest of the Midas are the Anfeim, Vitil Deseim, like he said in Paragimel in the end. Our Melubish and Kiyama Mitzvahs be Maiso be Dibur. And which mitzvah is exclusively dibur is Talmud Teira. Any mitzvah could be niskayim bedibur, and Talmud Teira specifically bedibur. So when seicho, when I say learning and understanding svaris of Teira is the levush of the seicho of the nefesh of kiss, we understand that. Seichel is melubish in advar seichel. The koyach seichel is melubish in a haskola, in a muskel. So ideas of Teira are a levush for the koyach seichel of the nefesh of kiss. The koyach is mislabish in maisa mitzvahs that we would be able to understand. But what does it mean? The midis midis is lechera a koyach that could be mislabish in a feeling, right? Midis is the ability to feel a certain way about something. How are the how is the ma'isa hamitzvus ki of my mitzvus be ma'isa be dibur a levush for the midas? So that's what Alter Rebbe is going to explain now. Ki ha'ava he sheiresh lechol ramach mitzvus asei, because the ava is first of all the sheiresh for mitzvus asei, the root. Why does a person do mitzvus asei? Because he loves the eibushter. Umimena heinim shaches and the ah uh, the mikiyam mitzvah comes from the ava. Ubil ada ein lo hen kiyam amiti. Is it possible for someone to do a mitzvah even if he doesn't feel a avas Hashem? It is. A person could do a mitzvah for various reasons, but it's not a kiyam amiti. He's not truly being mikiyam mitzvah. What's called a kiyam amiti? What does it mean, Yikro'uhu ve'emes? In Chesidus it says, Yikro'uhu ve'emes is when I'm calling to the Ibishter from my Pnimius, Pnimius and Neshama. Which means, if I'm sitting by davening and I'm saying the words, because that's what I'm supposed to do now, and I'm thinking about other things, is that called that I'm davening Bahamas? No, I'm not da- I'm saying the words of davening. Does say say davening? If I'm davening because uh, and I am thinking about the words because I want someone to look at me and think that I'm a chesed shabacher. I'm going through the motions. It's not me. That's not what I'm doing. I have. I'm. I'm interested and thinking about something else. The same exact thing with mitzvahs. If I'm doing a mitzvah because I have an ulterior motive, because I have a reason, so I'm not be'emes doing the Ebishter's mitzvah. I'm not, doing, I'm not serving the Ebishter. Right? I'm doing something for myself. When could you say that I'm truly doing the mitzvah? I'm tr- when I'm doing the mitzvah, I'm serving the Ebishter, be'emes? It's me serving the Ebishter, if I care about the Ebishter. If I don't care about the Ebishter, then it's no possibility of not doing a mitzvah unless it's for some other reason. So when could there be a kiyom be'emes uh, that I'm truly doing a mitzvah, I'm serving the Ebishter, if I love, if I have a feeling for the Ebishter? Belada ein lohem kiyom amiti, an ava kemenish mekayim zayin a mitzvah mitanemes. 
כי המקיים הוא באמץ, הוא באמץ מקיים דה מצווה, when is it real, when is it true, when is it taka, an act of serving the image there and not some other chitzen yistika inyan, is when I'm doing it because bir geit on alakos, because it's important to me and it's precious to me to be connected with alakos. What is that called when that's important, that's called avas Hashem? I care about the Eivishter, I'm excited, I'm drawn toward the Eivishter. Alekus is attractive to me. Ki amekaimon be'emes, so then, because Alekus is precious to me and attractive to me, and I know that doing a mitzvah connects me with the Eivishter, viltzach mir tam de mitzvah, so I'm doing that with an emes, meaning that's coming from me, that's like yikra'u ve'emes, das is mine emes, it's me doing it. Ki amekaimon be'emes, hua e'eves sheim havaye, de'eves hat lib de Eivishter. וחפץ לדווקא בי באמס. Like this we would be able to learn these words, וחפץ לדווקא בי באמס, you would be able to teach in two ways. You would be able to teach וחפץ לדווקא בי באמס, he really truly desires to attach himself to the Eibishter. Or he could touch the chafetz ledafka by be'emes. He desires to truly attach himself with David. Is be'emes going on chafetz? He's chafetz be'emes ledafka by his parach. Or emes is going on ledafka by that he's chafetz that the ledafka by should be with an emes. So from the next line we see which is the right way. The e f she ledafka by be'emes. We see be'emes is going on ledafka, right? If the emes was going on chafetz, then we would understand it a lot easier. I could, in Chassidus we learn, there's Pnimi Yisaratzin and Chitzen Yisaratzin. Pnimi Yisaratzin is the example of uh, someone wants a house. Why does a person want a house? I'm not talking about that we want a building for the yeshiva. A person individually wants a house. Why does he want a house? You don't know yet. You're why, does, why would a person want a house? Because every person naturally and instinctively wants to be a proper Adam. He wants it because that's what he wants. Because the deepest Ratzin is to be an Adam. A person wants to make, have, have a, to do well in business, to make money, often, because he, he needs money to buy his house. He wants to be popular, because he wants to get, uh, he wants his, his, his boss to give him a raise, so he'll have more money to, be, to build a house. He wants, there's chitzeni yisaratzin is when I want something for something else. Pnimi yisaratzin is when I want something for itself. When I want something for something else, so then, I have no connection with that thing. It's just a means of me getting something. The money, I don't have a connection with money. I'm going to use the money in order to buy a house. Lu Yitzir, there'll be a country where they use for currency chickpeas. So I'll go over there, I'll get a big box of chickpeas and I'll use it to buy a house. After that, I'll never look at chickpeas again. I need it. It was something for something. I have no connection with that. The house is because a person has an internal, inherent connection with the house. It's part of his shleimus as an adam. That's a yid wants a mitzvah because a skate manalikos tutter the mitzvah mitanamis. Then he's mekai. So the Alter Rebbe says the chafetz lidavka by beemes. It's not the chafetz is with an emes. The, there could be dveikos in the eibishter because a person did a mitzvah. Every person does a mitzvah becomes attached with the eibishter. A mitzvah is tzav sevechibra, afilu shaloi lushma. But if it's ledovka boi ba'emes, like we said, yikru of emes, that I, with my true self, my true mitzvah is being attached to the Eibishter, is only when I'm doing the mitzvah because I care about the Eibishter, then the mitzvah is reflecting me. Then the mitzvah is a tool of my true mitzvah. So then it's ledovka by be'emes. The ef shall ledovka by be'emes. That be'emes, that my true mitzvah is being attached to the eibushter, is only kiyim be'kiyim ramach pikudin, 
שהמחיוון דה מלכה כביכול כמישהו כסף מלכה מאחר. זה היה קל דה מצווה סייבורים דה מלכה. The only way, just like a person, how am I nimshach? How is my neshama drawn into things, whether it's a mice or a machshach, my head thinks, my hands do, my feet walk places. In other words, for the neshama to be drawn, to be active is through the evarim. So too for Alekos to come into the world, to be nimshach, the evishter is the evishter, to be nimshach into the world is through evarim. So any connection, any amshach of Alekos is through Teiru Mitzvahs. Bimela, how could I be connected with Alekos in a way, the evishter is the evishter, but how could it be nimshach that it should be connected with me is only through Ramach Pikudin, through the Mitzvah. Vayira hi sheirash, so therefore, because the Ava is the sheirash and the kiln of Mitzvah Sasei, so therefore it's correct to say that the Ava is mislabish in the Mitzvah Sasei. The Maisa ha Mitzvah is coming from the Ava. Heistah says the Ava is arangitan, is ungitan in the Maisa ha Mitzvah. Just like the Seichel, the Kayach HaSeichel is Mulubish in the understanding of Teich. Ayira Hisheirish Lishasa Leisa Sei The Yira is Mulubish in the Leisa Sei Ki Yare Limri B'Melech Malchei Amloch in HaKadosh Baruch Says Leisa Sei Amen Shal Tzachat Futana Avera It's not I didn't do something Not doing an Avera is doing something I'm abstaining I'm not doing what the Ebeshter doesn't want. Just like a mitzvah connects me with the Ebeshter, not doing an Avera connects me with the Ebeshter. And that's why Yosha v'loy over Avera neistim leischar kilu asa mitzvah. That's a connection with the Ebeshter. What caused me to not do the Avera? I could not do the Avera because I don't like it. A person doesn't eat not kosher food because he doesn't taste good. When am I truly holding back from doing an Avera because I'm connecting with the Avera when the reason is because this is Hepech Ratzon Elyon and I'm afraid Limrei B'Malach Malach Yamlach I know the Aveira is a Merida. So therefore, my not doing the Aveira is Be'emes connecting me with Alekos. It's my way, it's my levush for my Midah, for my feeling of being afraid to go any, against the Ebeshter. So that, in action, holding back from it, is the levush, is the expression of that feeling. So the lower level of Yira is Yari Limrit B'Melech Malchi Amloch HaMakadosh Baruch Any Aveira is a Merida in the Ebeshter. And I will not be able to do it in the Ebeshter. It's the grace of the Ebeshter. Again, the Alter Rebbe doesn't even mention Yira Sa'enish. Yira Sa'enish is not one of the levels of Yira. Why not? What? It's not me connecting. It's not Be'emes. Now that we see Be'emes, Yira Sa'enish is for me. It's just like Ava Kluya Bidavar. Year of the Ebishter, because I care about being connected with the Ebishter. I care about Ebishter. The lowest level of caring about the Ebishter in Yira is Yari Limrid B'Malach Malachi Amlach Em HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That that's the similar to the Ava that I'm doing a mitzvah, because Oye V'Shem Havaye V'Chafetz Odafka Bey B'Amas. O Yira, Pnimis Mizu, a more real Yira, a more Pnimis Tika Yira. It's not I'm afraid to go against the Ebishter, because Chutzpah, how can I go against the Ebishter? Again, even in the first year, it's not a year because I'm afraid of the consequence. It's a year because I'm afraid of the etzemaisa, because because of the greatness of the Ebishter. A year because how terrible it is to be made in the Ebishter. Or a year of pnimis mizusha mizbeishish migdulase lamris ene kvede velase saraba enav kaltea vasavaya shersone. Hey, ma klipis visitra achra asha yunikosen. What's the second? How is the second year different than the first year?
I can't be lamrith in the I can't rebel against the Abishta. You say that the difference Lachira is the first year of the Yisaida is afraid of something bad. What am I afraid of? I'm afraid I realize how bad it is, therefore I'm afraid. It's not a year of Sainish. It's not because it's bad for me. It's bad because it's bad some bad. But I'm afraid because being made it against the Ibish there is bad. I realize how bad it is. Just like in Ava, I realize how great it is and how beautiful it is to be attached to the Ebishter. In Yira, I realize how terrible it is, terrible it is to rebel against the Ebishter. But Mela, I'm afraid, Limrei, uh, Limrei b'malach The second year of B'yisayda is not I'm afraid of something bad. B'yisayda is I'm embarrassed, I'm in this battle from the Ebishter. A chassid stands in front of the Rebbe, he becomes Eish Metzius. Not because he did something wrong, because it's, it's such a greatness that it finished Tefis Maki. Once after Shachris, the Gabbai, Rabbi Yechen and Gordon made the announcements, and then he finished. So the Rabbi said to him, Why didn't you know? There was that, that, that uh, week there was a Malav Malka, Matzah Shabbos, for Agbach, for something, place. there was some event. So the rabbi said, turned to him and said, he didn't announce whatever, whatever thing it was, at some event. So he said to the rabbi, he had a certain bread kite that he used to, he said to the rabbi, I'll let him get invitations. He doesn't have to announce that. Everyone got invitations. To him. So the rabbi, Ki'ilu, Kaviyachu, like at random, he turned, he says, yeah, he turns to Habacher standing there, does get an invitation? He said, oh. the Bacher was Rabbi Avram Grilitsky. The rabbi turned to him and said, does get an invitation? He he, he jumped to the ground. He, he got this battle. He, went, he, he dived to the ground. Why did he dive to the ground? He didn't do something wrong. The Rebbe looked at him, focused on him. It was this battle. The Mizbeishish Megdulasi, the second year, but because I'm this battle, Mimsiyusi, that's what causes to be so mufrach, the Lamri Seinikvaydai. But not the Yisayda, as I'm afraid of something bad. The Yisayda of the Yira, as the greatness of the Abish, that causes me Lisbesh, is causing me to be Nisbatul Mimtsiyusi. One of the Chsidim of the Tzamach Tzedek, later by the Rebbe Marash, was, the, was Rav Shneir Zalman Milublin, the Teras Chesed. The Shailz Shu Teras Chesed was a Chesed was a Goyim Atzim with a with a tremendous uh, zikarin. So, yeah, we have, you have a svarim, yeah. so it says his father was a builder. He was in construction, that's what he did. And once he was building a building, he was on a scaffold. Yeah. Uh, he was high up on one of the high levels of the scaffold. And the Tzemach Tzedek walked by. It was uh, maybe in Lubavitch, I don't know. Tzemach Tzedek walked by and he looked up and he saw the Tzemach Tzedek and he fell down all the way. So it says Tzemach Tzedek went over to him and Tzemach Tzedek said, What are you afraid? I'm not a bear. He fell down. And Tzemach Tzedek gave him a bracha. He should have banim tamidi chachamim. It says, The dachel mirabanam, the Gemara says, Havim li banim tamidi chachamim. In Shabbos, this year. And he had the, the teras chasen. Aber fravas is er gefallen. He did something wrong, the Tzemach Tzedek. He was Mizbatl Ben Tziyusim. He said the greatness of the Tzemach Tzedek. That's the year of Pnimis Shemiz Beishish Migdulase Lam Reisei So because the year is what holds me back from doing an Avera, the year is Melubish in me actively abstaining from a Leisese. The Ava is the Sheresh and the sustaining the Kiyam HaMitzvah, so the Ava is Melubish in the Mitzvah. And therefore, I have the levushim of the nefesh alekis, which is the mitzvahs that the kachas of the nefesh alekis are mislabish in them. So in Perek Gimel, and Perek Beis and Gimel, and Perek Dalid, we speak about two things. We started to say last time. So there's a famous story that there was a, uh, there was a, uh, by, by one of the wars in Eretz Yisrael, by the Yom Kippur War, I think, there was a tank brigade and they ended up in an in a ambush, and they were surrounded, and uh, they had no hopes of getting out. And in that brigade, they, they had the, the team, there was the gunner and the general, and the, one of the, there were three or four 
Freya Israeli soldiers, and there was one religious soldier with them. And the religious soldier was driving them crazy always. You have to put on tefillin, you have to daven, you have to say tefillin. And they like, and then when they were all surrounded, when they were ambushed, so they were all crying, and they, they, they're going to die in a few minutes. And he's telling them, no, you have to have bitachin, he trusts the Ebishter, feel a cherif, chardu, munachas, al tzavari, shalodom, al yisiyah, shatz, mimin arachim, and so on. And in the end, they were saved. There was a nest, other, they, they got saved. The captain of the tank, Bishas, they were surrounded, and they were in danger. So he made a promise to the Ebishter, he made a pledge that if they get saved, he's going to start putting on tefillin every day. So they were saying, because this Frima, the, the Frima soldier was driving them crazy all the time to put on tefillin. When they were saved, so there was heavy fighting, so the Frima soldier got killed, and the captain who made that pledge, he had his hand, his arm was blown off. So afterwards he was in Yechidus, and he said to the rabbi, I don't understand, this Frima soldier, he was trying to say, to encourage us, and to be me'eras and to bring us to Teremiz, and he's the one that was uh, that was killed. And me, I made a pledge to the Eibushter to put on tefillin, and my arm is knocked off. So the Rebbe told him, he was he said he gave up his life that the rest of you should be saved. And you, the Rebbe told him, the Eibushter wants to show you that your connection with him is not dependent on mitzvahs. That the etzem of Ayid is higher than Teir Mitzvahs, and you're precious and, and worthy of being saved without even being able to do, to do the mitzvah too. That was the Nikud Sabir. So, Ba'amas, there's two perspectives. There's people, groups of Yidin, that their perspective is Ayid was Tzutish Ken Teir Mitzvahs, but was is Amdish von Agoy, he's a Shaigitz. How is he? He's completely fry. Yeah. And they write like that, they talk in that signal. You have to correct them and say, these are Jew. Oh, yeah, true, but. but. And then, so that, that Machshava Dal Terebbe is Shailal in Perek Beis and Gimel. Perek Beis and Gimel Dal Terebbe explains what is a Yid and Nefesh Alekis. Before you do anything, the Yid who's a Tinik Shinishbach Asr, he doesn't even know what it means to be a Jew. He is a Chelek Aleka Mimal Mamish. So there's something that defines a Yid as a Yid that's completely higher than Tehro Mitzvahs. The Keiches, the, the Etzim of the Nishama. So if we're a Jew because of what we are, that's what the Nishama is. So then what's Tehro Mitzvahs? What's Gitsu Tehro Mitzvahs? That's Perek Dalit. There's the Levushim, and Al Rebbe is going to explain now that whatever you are as a Yid with a Chilek Elikami Mal Mamish, as Kupnish Tzu Tan Teiro Mitzvah. What's the reason for that? Lachayra the Neshama, we said it's Chachmasi Yitzay Neshavu, Chachmasi Yachad Hu Amad Avu Yideya. The Tarot says that the Neshama is compared to Ben. We say Bonimatim Lavai Elikeshim. A ben also is etzem ha'av. A ben comes from etzem ha'av. After he's born, is he etzem ha'av? Is any of you, are you, any of you, are you your father? Is your father you? No, you're two different people. Could be you think differently. Could be your father's a chsidish yid and you're a grabe bacher. Could be fakert. Two separate people. Maybe your father likes Trump and you like uh, someone else. Not. The etzem is you came from the etzem of the father, but you were born and deep down there is that etzem is the connection. The connection of a son and the father. But in Poyo Mamish, you, you became a an uh, independent person was nimtzuch from etzem from the top. You could be a son that's a rebellious son that's rebelling against him, or you could tune into that etzem dika connection. 
but lepeil, you're a you're a you're a nivra. You're a person for yourself. Same thing as with the Shamas Yisrael. The Shamas Yisrael come from Chachmasi Yisbarach, but the Chachmasi Yisbarach, the way it became a nivra. We are a created being. We have our own ritzenes and our own ideas and our own agendas and our own motives, motivation. We have our feelings. We Elikus means feeling that ain't eid muvadeh. There's nothing besides Eivish. Shevalaze is the emes. Nivra means feeling ourselves, the world, everything as an independent entity, as a yesh v'davr nifra. A ben nisham is Yisrael. We feel ourselves. We feel the world as a yesh v'davr nifra. Some nisham is Yisrael don't even know that they're nisham is Yisrael. Like we just said, they just had a. Uh, a story last week, the Lubavitcher was going on Mitzrayim and he met a priest who was a priest for 60 years or something. And it turned out he was a Jew from the Holocaust and he put him to phone with him. And he, uh, wait. So, what happened until then? But he didn't feel that until then. He felt himself as a Nivra. A Nivra, we bring ourselves to connect to the Ebishtim, but we feel ourselves as a separate entity. Teira and Mitzvah comes from the Ebishtim also. The way it didn't become a separate entity. What's Teiro Mitzvah? It's the Ratzin of the Eibushtim. If the Maisa HaMitzvah Kemesha Hu, that is the Ratzin of the Eibushtim. That's Alekus Mamish. Never became detached from Alekus. It's Alekus in Atsiyo Rava Maisa Gashmi, but that Maisa Gashmi is Alekus. Ab Nisham is Yisrael is Alekus the way it came down to feel separate. So therefore, Nisham and Yisrael have a mile over Teiro Mitzvahs. Bisharsham, in the original Sheyash, they're higher, like it being done many times in Chassidus. It has a chesar in that, in our Poyo Mamish, in our Mitzvahs, in our, we're a, we're a, a Dover Nifra. We're a Mitzvahs of a Nivra, a created being. That means we see ourselves as an independent entity. Teiro Mitzvahs is, remains elikos. And therefore, Yidin, Nisham, and Yisrael need these levushim in order to be begolui, bepoyo, actually and actively connected with the Ebishter. Vihine, shleisha levushim elu mea Teiro Mitzvahs. That's what Alter Rebbe is going to explain now. These three levushim, okay, we'll start over here. Vihine, shleisha levushim. 